Hello everyone and welcome back. This is episode one of season two of the Mud and Hue podcast, a podcast dedicated to forehand piano repertoire and music in general. We are excited to share what we have been up to during our summer break. It's been a very busy summer. We spent a lot of it actually in Europe. And in fact, we'll be spending a few episodes talking about the piano, uh, the maker of the piano right behind us. We are talking about the Petrov piano, which is made in the Czech Republic. It happens to be one of the largest piano manufacturers in Europe. And we had a chance to go over to visit the Petrov Piano Factory, meet the Petrov family themselves, and make lots of videos of Petrov pianos. It was, like you said, very eventful summer, and we had the privilege, for me, it was a true privilege and honor to find myself in the very core of this amazing piano brand and see how pianos, how Petrov pianos are made from scratch. And um, things that we would like to share with you are not only related to our summer, but um, are also related to our upcoming projects. Mm -hmm. And um, speaking of season two, um, we have decided to change a little bit some things. So we're going to have some very important guests over for some interviews, important artists and mentors. Yes. And um, we are not only going to share our music with you, but also we're going to ask them to share their music and performances with you. I, I really love and I'm excited about getting other folks involved with this show and really helping everybody appreciate the beauty of not only forehand piano music, but music, music in general. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're going to be spending the next couple of episodes focusing on the Petrov pianos that we made videos of. We shot about 13 different videos of different models that they make. And we'll spend actually this episode talking about some of the upright pianos that we played on. And uh, that one of the things I love about Petrov pianos, first of all, I, I don't know if you agree with me, but I mean, I think these are some of the finest upright pianos I have ever played on. In fact, you've got a little personal history with Petrov piano yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, well, around, I must say, 14, when I was 14 or 15, uh, my uh, teacher, a Russian teacher who had been educated at the uh, St. Petersburg Conservatoire, um, helped me to get a second-hand piano. And back then, I had no idea about Petrov pianos. Uh, I only knew, I think, Yamaha, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, and I still have in, um, in my home in Romania, I still have the upright, the Petrov upright that, um, I purchased, my mom purchased for me, uh, when I was a teenager, about uh, 15 years old. And that was really informative for you. That very was very informative. And that instrument witnessed a lot of practice. Um, it helped me. Um, enter the conservatory in Bucharest, um, and then you know, uh, help me go through it go through through the years there. Um, it's very sturdy, I would say, sturdy mm -hmm. instrument with a very warm sound. Um, and I do from all the upright uh, upright pianos that I have tried, I do prefer the Petrov brand over uh, anything else. I have to agree. I mean, there's a lot of wonderful upright piano makers out there. But there's something very, very special about these Petrov upright pianos. Truly, truly remarkable. So we just want to spend this episode demonstrating not only how beautiful the new Petrov upright pianos are, but also how, how pretty they are. They're beautiful in sound, but also very stylish. I'm very excited to show some of the new designs of some of the pianos. Of these two pianos we're going to be playing, they're actually two variations of the Petrov next upright piano. And uh, why don't we start off with a little bit of Mozart. What sure. do you think?
This next piano is another version of the Petrov Next design. Upright piano, very stylish. I, I, this is my personal favorite. I really like the chrome jagged lines that go through the wood and the, and the white. It's just a really cool looking it's piano. Very simple, I would say, in design, but it's very effective. I think it so. It makes you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be playing the Abanera by Moskovsky. Thank you. 
So what do you think? We hope you enjoy the sound of these Petrov upright pianos. We think they're quite extraordinary. And in our next couple of episodes, we'll be focusing on our trip to the Petrov Piano Factory in the Czech Republic. We'll be demonstrating some more pianos that we shot videos of. And eventually, we're going to show you a sneak peek at our factory tour. We actually got a chance to go around and see how the Petrov pianos are made in their own factory. Step by step. Yeah. Have you ever been to a piano no. manufacturing factory before? No. This is your first Absolutely time. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. So this is, I mean, we have a factory of sorts here in the Philadelphia area uh, with Cunningham Piano, but they're focused on restorations. Um, I've only seen one other, actually two other piano factories before, but this was probably the most extensive and most detailed tour that I'd ever seen. So I was learning a lot. And uh, Oh, definitely. I think it's important for any pianist to um, witness the uh, technical, or at least some of the technical uh, details and technical process that any piano goes through. Yeah, so I'm really so that yeah. you know um, they they can understand the nature of their instrument. It's nice That's to know how your instrument's made yeah? exactly and how the instrument works. Yeah, and so that you know what to ask from it. Absolutely. So anyway, please join us. We're gonna have we're back in business. We're back making episodes. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode of the Mada and Hugh Show. For the Mada and Hugh Show, I'm Hugh. I'm Mada, and. We'll see you very soon.